As a kid, watching the movie Up hit different. It was something about seeing my boy Carl sad because his shoddy Ellie wasn't by his side anymore. Knowing that we would all grow up like my boy Carl and potentially go through something similar scared me. But thankfully, to spice Carl's life up a bit, the goat Russell came through. Mr. Fredrickson, Awakening the adventurous side in Carl, but when doing so, he seemed to do the you impossible. Do me a favor and take this. Let me just show I'll you. Let me get the van in just a minute. I uh, want to say one last goodbye to the old place. Sure. Take all the time you need, sir. That's typical. He's probably going to the bathroom for the 80th time. <sighs> You'd think he'd take better care of his house. The kid version of me thought this was dumb with, but now looking back at it, it seems dumb sus. I came up with this hypothesis that all the balloons shown in the scene are not enough to make a house float and travel the distance it did in the movie. A quick trip to our local Walgreens to pick up some balloons in our local gym would do the job to prove whether our hypothesis was valid or not. Before the demo, we need to figure out the weight of the house and how many balloons were used in the film. It is said that roughly 20,000 balloons were used in the previous scene. Finding the weight of the house would be the difficult part. In order to find the weight, we would have to follow a rule of thumb that said 200 pounds per square foot. We would also find the average single family house size. Based on the movie, one balloon was supposed to carry 20 pounds, but based on our demo, it couldn't even carry 10 or 8 pounds. Oh. <laughs> to sum it up, the film up is all cat. You see, it has a cool concept and all, but it's impossible to make a house float and travel the distance it did using the amount of balloons shown in the movie. Hey yo, don't get it twisted though. The movie up is so fire. We're on our way, Ellie. Wait, don't forget to like and subscribe.